stop people from honoring loved ones that have passed. Dia de los Muertos was celebrated in Santa Ana. Latin Americans celebrated their music and honored culture in Costa Mesa. Welcome to this edition of, of Around and About Orange County News. I'm David Corral. I'm Angela Trung. Thank you for joining us. Orange County residents came together to celebrate Day of the Dead. Our reporter Alexis Cortez witnessed the celebration. The Day of the Dead, a Mexican tradition that celebrates the lives of those who have passed, brought people together at Fairhaven Memorial Park. The event organizers hope for a lot of outdoor activities, including live singing and other performances. But since Mother Nature decided to add some rain to the celebration, the attendees moved indoors to make the best out of the wet weather. People still left their offerings for their loved ones on the altars. They also sang along and celebrated with the mariachi band. Ana Aguilar spoke with us about her first experience at the Day of the Dead. Yeah, I mean, my expectation was, you know, to come out and participate and, you know, feel the culture of the Day of the Dead celebration. Um, you know, we're pretty Americanized here and, you know, I love the history and the whole, you know, belief in the afterlife and whatnot. So we decided to come out, wanted to bring my mom because she's, you know, very traditional and this is our first experience. And it was Just like Anna, many others attended this celebration to help them heal and remember their loved ones. With rain or no rain, the event stayed on. Reporting for Around and About Orange County News, Alexis Cortez. It's unfortunate that some of the outdoor activities were canceled, but people were still able to honor their loved ones. The Daily Pilot is reporting that residents started a petition to install lighted crosswalks in a portion of Westcliff Drive in Newport Beach. This comes after an SUV struck and killed a man at the intersection of Westcliff Drive and Rutland Road a few weeks ago. According to records obtained by the Daily Pilot, five people were injured between 2010 and 2014, a block away from the latest crash. Residents say there are many closed calls in this area. As a result, the city added additional signs and other safety measures to try to improve safety. The Daily Pilot says that the city is still studying and reviewing plans for even more improvements on the busy streets. As of this week, the petition has about 1,200 signatures. It is unclear when it will go to the city council. A new threat has appeared in Orange County, California. Officials say that the white tiger mosquito has arrived, which has white stripes on them. They mostly live in tropical and subtropical areas of Southeast Asia. Getting bitten by one of these can take a nasty turn. The California health officials say that the symptoms are skin rashes from the chest, back, and stomach. Other symptoms are fever, headaches, and body aches, which can last from days or weeks at a time. Day of the Dead, or Dia de los Muertos, is a yearly tradition for the Hispanic community. I got to see this year's celebration. Santa Ana celebrated Dia de los Muertos by holding its own event called Viva la Vida. The festival is an expressive art and culture event to bring the Hispanic community together. Photography students from Segerstrom High School showcased some of their work. The celebration honored loved ones that died during the past year. Mary Wilson shared her Dia de los Muertos altars that honors her mother, lay husband, and her daughter's father-in-law. Pretty popular um, event in the Hispanic community. I think it's a great way to immerse yourself in the culture, especially you know if you are Hispanic and you want to honor your family members somebody's life, it's a way to remember them, and it isn't really a sad occasion, it's a kind of a happy occasion. Suavecito Pomade sponsored a portion of the event and provided haircuts. A live band and the baile folklorico entertained the crowd. Face painters decorated the It was quite the celebration of life. A 5K run and obstacle course called Wipeout gets underway November 7th. 
This race is inspired by the old TV show by the same name where contestants competed for cash prizes by going through a series of zany, oversized, and challenging obstacles. This event is open to anyone over 18, so if you feel like trying your hand at the course and also feel like helping some disabled athletes, this might be for you. Some of the proceeds will support the Challenge Athletes Foundation. Go to wipeoutrun.com for more information or to register for the upcoming event in Irvine. The annual Diamond Bout is coming to South Orange County. K9 for Companions for Independence or CCCI is organizing the event to raise money for assistant dogs. The dogs go to veterans returning home from work. Their main event, the Diamond Drop, is an auction where guests can donate gems and jewelry. Guests will be treated to a dinner prepared by chefs. Two veterans will be speaking on behalf on how they benefited from the service. The Diamond Ball will be held at the Rich Carlton in Laguna Niguel on Saturday, November 7th. Visit the diamondball.org to buy tickets or for more information. A new Latin American music festival drew thousands of fans to Costa Mesa last weekend. Leon Rosales listen in and some and coming artists. And calling the new El Festival the Coachella for Latin music fans. Dozens of artists debuted new music and sang popular hits. Some artists used the stage to sound off on politics, and Jesus Mendoza talked proudly about his culture. I believe we're proud to be a Latino. For me, with the whole Donald Trump fiasco, well, it's a little sad, but at the same time, we still have to rep represent our Hispanic culture. We want to show that we're good people, that represent good, and that we're happy. The artist also answered questions and posed for pictures while promoting their new music. Organizers say based on the success of this year's festival, they'll be back. In Costa Mesa, Leanne Rosales, Around and About, Orange County News. You can visit lfestival.com for more information about next year's lineup and tickets. The Goodwill Gala annual event will be held in Orange County. This gala will benefit three Goodwill programs, the Goodwill of Orange County Tyranny Center for Veteran Services, Fitness Center, and Goodwill's Assistive Technology Exchange Center. Their focus is being able to reach people, reach their highest levels of personal and economic independence. This event will be happening on Saturday, November 7th at the Laguna Cliffs Marriott in Dena Point. For more information, you can call 714-480-3355 or via email gala at ocgoodwill.org. The Junior League of Orange County is already planning to raise money for the holidays. The organization that improves the community by volunteering and supporting women's causes is holding an event called the Christmas Company. It will benefit charities like Blind Children's Learning Center, Human Trafficking Task Force, Grandma's House of Hope, and few others. The event hopes to raise money through boutique shopping, a fashion show, and a number of events depending on the day. Visit shoptcc.com for more information for times and those special events. Santa Ana College students will be painting live murals during the Santa Ana Park this November 7th. Students from the murals class, digital media, and jewelry class will be teaming up to paint live in honor of well-known muralists. This event will take place in the Noche de las Artes or Night of the Altars during the Dia de los Muertos, a Day of the Dead celebration. The live painting will happen on a brick wall outside of the Southern County's Gas Company across from the Grand Central Art Center on 1st and Broadway in downtown Santa Ana. And this is it for our fifth English show of the semester. Thank you for watching us today, and don't forget to check out our sister show, Noticiero Latino de Condado de Orange. We'll see you next week.